Uh, just in that particular order on some of those uh, questions that came in at the end. The unbelievability stuff, I suppose, uh, well, the mayor gets on there and talks about uh, crest fallings, but not number one. There are a lot of subjectiveness about those issues, and for me, livability is about uh, what that means for people either in our community, what it means for people further out in the suburbs, uh, and their capacity uh, to feel good about where they live, uh, to be able to get around and connect to other communities, uh, to have a job, uh, to have good services. Uh, they're my priorities for what I think livability is about, uh, and it's a subjective thing, but and what I want to do as an elected representative is make sure uh, whether it's neighbourhood character, health and education and jobs and services for people, that's what is the mark of livability and the engagement of a community to support each other. Uh, I would agree, uh, just going back on, uh, Steve raised a couple of issues about timelines uh, on North East Linkport. We get a mandate to proceed. Uh, construction starts in 2020. Obviously it doesn't all get built at once, it'll be built in stages. It's a significant project uh, and we'll have uh, more detail about that. But what is clear, of course, is the only part of this prioritising that it'll be planned and ready so we can get going in terms of contracts next year and start in 2020 is the Labor Party. The Labor Party have made it clear that they will prioritise East West Link. They don't prioritise the North Eastern suburbs and you will have to wait longer for additional uh, solutions to deal with uh, our congestion issues if you live in the North East. Uh, in relation to uh, parking at train stations, where there's capacity, that's okay, but I know if we can build another thousand car parks at Ivanhoe, I don't think people in Ivanhoe would be too keen to have another thousand cars. If there won't be local people, there'll be people from outside driving through your neighbourhood. To park at the station, that's not the answer. While we work on more investment in bus services, and that's critical, uh, what is important is if you can have more frequent train services. And when the bus does turn up, you're only hopefully waiting five to ten minutes uh, for the next train service. That's that's the easier bit to try to get resolved or we try and work on the congestion and more um, easier ways for our bus services to get around. So I get the tick for the last one minute. Um, on a couple of other things, just more generally, um, you know, we live in a great part of Melbourne. Um, and when we talk about population growth and things, part of that is because we have the best diversity in health service and education services here. We have great open space. We have capacity with two significant freeways, six train stations and a train line through the middle of the Ivanhoe no electorate, um, water and tributaries that allow for other active transport solutions. Um, and what that means, a lot of people want to live here. We can't put fences up on uh, you know, the Murray River. People are coming here because there's great opportunities here for people and uh, what we need to be doing is planning and investing in our people, uh, in our services and trying to get ahead of the game. That's what we're doing and I feel a lot of the investment that we've engaged in has provided opportunities for people in the community uh, to participate and play their role in society. That's what I'm committed to and as the only person participating this evening that you can consider voting for in Ivanhoe at the election, um, I hope you give consideration uh, to the capacity and the work that we've achieved together and the opportunity we've got to do much more into the future. Thank you.